Minnetonka Research is a program where students are able to pursue areas of interest that they have in science. I am studying whether hypertension is more prevalent within Indian females who live in India or in the United States. I'm working to produce a stretchy, plastic-like substance capable of healing itself when cut to potentially be used as artificial muscle. I'm studying how anaerobic bacteria affects the growth of cultured mouse liver tumor cells. When I was a sophomore, I had a large adenoma that would have become cancerous if it wasn't removed. As a result, I've become very interested in cancer research, though I didn't think I would have the chance to work on a cancer research project in high school. So based upon what they're interested in and what they're curious about, they'll design an experiment. To conduct my study, I'm currently developing a survey which I will use to collect my data. The survey includes questions regarding the medical history, diet, physical activity, blood pressure, medications, and other lifestyle factors. Currently, I'm working on outlining the condensation synthesis portion of my reaction that I will execute to produce my polymer. As part of this process, I have encountered many unfamiliar lab techniques and testing procedures that have challenged my problem-solving abilities, which has been an experience unlike any course I've taken before. In my research, I will be culturing murine hepatoma cells in a collagen gel to replicate the 3D tumor structure and tumor microenvironment. I will then be infecting the tumors with Clostridium butyricum and analyzing the tumor cell growth using a hemocytometer and MTT assay. And then they get to perform that experiment look to see what they expect is going to happen, but then see what really does happen and do the analysis of that and draw some conclusions. They have coaching along the way from their instructors and their mentors, but they really are designing the next steps and deciding what's going to happen next. I've called chemistry vendors and scoured university techs, and I've even been off campus to shadow a mechanical engineer at his firm, learning to use tensile testing equipment. Thus nearing the end of my detailing my research procedure, I look forward to the next stage of physically synthesizing my elastomer and analyzing its properties. This class is very different from my other classes. When I come to class, I don't simply learn from a set curriculum or take a certain number of exams. This class challenges me to learn in a different way. It allows me to explore what I'm interested in and what I am passionate about. I've learned a lot from the, my research class and I hope to use the skills that I learned in my future career as well.